you were out running this morning. Are you going to run the marathon this year? I am. Oh, good for you. Have you run the Boston Marathon before? Yeah, this is going to be my seventh Boston. Well, seventh no. wow. Boston. Next question. Were you there last year? I was. Oh, boy. So, uh, and you're going to do it again yeah. this year. A lot of yeah. emotions, I imagine. Yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be a little anxiety. I think it's going to be scary, maybe a little nervous running down Boylston Street. But <laughs> what, one, of the things, day. one of the things I thought about was, you know, the security is going to be incredible this year. If you recall, these guys were set to attack. They were going to do something for the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they decided to move it up and do the marathon. So think about how safe the 4th of July was and how in control they were there. So at least that's something that you have a little comfort in the back of your mind on that. But tell, can, yeah. you, can you tell us about last year? I'm sure you've told the story many times, but where were you when, uh, when, when it all happened? Um, I had just finished. Um, I don't know if you know about like running races, but like after you finish, you know, there's quite a long, especially in Boston, there's quite a long shoot to get your medal, get your, you know, blanket, get your water. So probably from the finish line to the end of that, shoot that you walk down is at, at least a half a mile i would say and so i was like in that shoot getting i, I had already gotten my medal i'd already gotten my blanket and i was just like getting my water so i was probably halfway down that shoot like when the bombs went off and and you probably um, thought what 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 happened what was going on well we heard the you know we heard the, the big noise that it made and I was like I just turned around and I said to the guy next to me I was like oh my god what was that and he just said he just said oh it was probably something in the trash can you know like you know how sometimes kids like throw things in the trash can like sure. a firecracker or something like that right. and he's like no look at all the smoke so you know we just kept walking we didn't really think much of it and then all of a sudden the other one went and we're like oh my god so then everybody started just saying you know just keep walking just keep walking so we kind of just kept walking to our bus and then um it wasn't until I got back to the bus that really found out what had happened because I had so many text messages and phone calls and, you know, you okay, you okay, you know, and call me as soon as you get this. And then everybody started saying what happened. We're like, oh, my God, it was like chaos. It was just chaos with all the sirens and just everything. It was just right. crazy, crazy, and, crazy. And I, if I remember right, uh, because we've talked to other members of the Greater New Bedford Track Club, you, you run as a member of that group, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember if we talked to folks, it was it was a little chaotic to try to round everybody up and get everybody for the bus, correct? It was. Yeah, it was. Did you talk to Don? Did you talk to our president, Don? Not yet. I'm trying to connect with uh, with uh, Don. Yeah, she did a great job. She was at the end. She was at the end of the shoot, and she was just telling people where to go. And she made sure. I mean, she was just in contact with so many people back home, and you know, people looking up people's times to see where they were, and just like she did a great job. Right now, um, I forget the, the exact timing of this thing. So, you know, you were fortunate enough to actually finish the race. There were so many that weren't able to finish the race because of that. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure well, many well, members of your team. Yeah. A lot of people, in our, a couple of people, in our, uh, a few people, in our, several people in our bus, I should say, that didn't get to finish. Right. Now, do you know if the procedure is going to change much? For, you know, with the added security, are, are there new rules that are going to affect uh, you and other runners? Um, well, no bags. Um, a lot of runners, you know, they get on the bus in, in Boston and they get the bus to Hopkinton and they just hang out at the Athlete Village for for a few hours before the start. Like, they're not going to be able to bring bags, like, with a change of clothes or anything, like, usually, like they usually do, um, mm-hmm. which kind of stinks for them because, you know, if it's raining or cold, they got to sit there in the cold. And us, unfortunately, us, we have a bus, so we... Nothing has changed for us. We're going to get our bus, and we're going to ride to Hopkinton, and we can sit in the bus. We can walk around. We can have bags. We can have change of clothes, so it's going to be good for us. But it's the other people who come from, you know, different parts of the country who take the the bus um, from Boston to Hopkinton. They're not going to be able to have anything with them at all. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of stinky. Right. But... Yeah. So uh, you said you ran this morning. We had a question earlier this morning. Is this the big weekend where where everybody what runs twenty or what what what's the training? No, like? that was uh, that was uh, the thirtieth. Uh, the other weekend, the uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. Okay. So are yeah, you t- ran, are you tapering now? That. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I God. God bless you. I I couldn't even. I, do it. Let me ask you this: What makes you run? Uh. 
Um, I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I ride my bike. Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Teresa, no, I just like it. Yeah. I just like it. Yeah. The people that I run with are great, and it's just fun.